ابو مازن يشتري لك We are here at a moment when the world is telling England to recognize Palestine. The Balfour Declaration even said that the rights of the indigenous people must be respected. Now is the time for England to live up to the Balfour Declaration that it produced because it, betrayed, it has betrayed its own declaration. We are here at the British Consulate to denounce England for not following its own declaration because they made a lie on the world. Now they have to live up to that lie and they have to repair that lie. I'm beginning to speak here because uh, Nora is getting ready to speak as well. I am speaking for the Alliance of Concerned Jewish Canadians who are opposed to the occupation, who are opposed to the Zionist occupation of Palestine. I have four things to tell you. First of all, a friend, Ashraf Abu Rahman, is now in prison in the village of Berlin for doing nothing, absolutely nothing. We're just walking in the street. Ashraf Abu Rahman is now in prison without charge. And I promised his wife that I would mention his name Hello. to you here today. Hello. Secondly, in the, even the Balfour Declaration recognizes Palestine because it says that they promise a homeland. They say it's a Jewish homeland, but it's a Zionist homeland in Palestine. It says in Palestine. Even the Balfour Declaration recognizes Palestine. So why can't England recognize Palestine also? And also the Balfour Declaration recognizes that Palestine exists. And when the Zionists say that Palestine never existed, they lie. Zionism lies one time after another time. They also lie when they say that Israel is a Jewish state. That's not true. Israel is not a Jewish state. Israel is only a Zionist state. A Zionist state that lies. And Netanyahu claims to speak in the name of all the Jewish people. That is a lie too, because only a minority, a fraction of the Jewish people actually live in Israel. And half of the Jewish Israelis oppose Netanyahu. The last poll this week shows that Netanyahu is going to lose the next election. Inshallah. And there will have to be a coalition government with the Palestinian parties. The Palestinian parties of the joint list are going into the government of the Zionist state to bring down Zionism. We are seeing the end of Zionism now. This is a historic time. The end of Balfour, the end of Zionism is coming. I have two other things to tell you. Even the Balfour Declaration did not talk about a Zionist state. They talked about a homeland in Palestine. So what the Zionists have done is even a violation of Balfour. What the Zionists have done with the occupation of Palestine is even a violation of the partition resolution of 1948, when 50% uh, much too much was given to the Zionist project but they took 75% of Palestine for themselves. And the United Nations says nothing about that. And now they treat the frontiers of Israel as if it's Israel 1967. No, even that is a lie. That is not acceptable. There has to be a resolution with the permission of the Palestinian people, represented by their own authority and the Palestine Liberation Movement, which is now unified in resistance against the Zionist state. Another victory for the Palestinian people. I am Dr. Abraham Weisfeld. I'm speaking for the Alliance of Concerned Jewish Canadians. I have one other thing to tell you. Yes, in 1917, when the Balfour Declaration was made, one month after the letter was sent to the Zionist movement, General Allenby, on behalf of the British Empire, occupied Jerusalem. And what did he say? He said, this is the last crusade. 
Ah, this is a crusade, and the Zionists are the collaborators of the Christian nation states of the West who are occupying Palestine, who are now also trying to occupy Afghanistan and Iraq and Syria. They want to occupy everything that has any value, and we will stop them. Palestine will win. Now, tomorrow is the election here in Montreal. What does the election here in Montreal have to do with Palestine? Ah, this mayor, Coderre, he made a delegation of businessmen to go to Israel and the West Bank. It said on the website of the city of Montreal that they were going to the West Bank. Shame, shame. So, in working with the DSDT Culture Association, we called up and said, oh, you're going to the West Bank. Well, we want to join you. They hung up. I called again. He said, we want to join a delegation. We want to make commercial ties between Montreal and Palestine to benefit the Palestinian people. They hung up. We called a third time. They didn't answer the phone. This Coderre has to go. If one, every person here calls 10 of their friends who are Muslim, don't vote in the elections usually. Just one person calls 10 people here. Those people call 10 other people. We will have enough people to vote against Coderre and to win this election tomorrow for Valerie Plant. Yes. Then we will have a change of administration, a change of policy, and a Montreal that is a friend of Palestine and not an enemy of Palestine. Yes. <clears throat> there. Now we know what the truth is. The reality is that we are advancing. We are here in front of the British consulate to tell them that their time is over. Their government, which is anti-Palestine, is on the way out. The next government of England, the Labour government with Corbyn, is going to recognize Palestine. That is a promise that is already made. Palestine will be recognized. Viva, viva Palestina! Viva, viva Palestina! Viva, viva Palestina! Viva, viva Palestina! I'm going to talk in Arabic. A message to the United States. We are a world of freedom, the freedom of the human being, the freedom of the world, the freedom of the human being, the freedom of the human being, the freedom of the human being, وإعلانا بأن الوثيقة الاستعمارية المعروفة باسم تصريح بلفور مشينة تماما ذصا وهدفا وتطبيقا وحيث أن بريطانيا لم تحترم تعهداتها لعرب فلسطين بالاستقلال ولم تحترم تعهداتها لدى عصبة الأمم المتحدة بموجب المادة 22 من ميثاقها بأن تتعهد لشعب فلسطين بالرعاية بموجب المسؤولية المقدسة للحضارة ولم تحترم الحقوق الثابتة للشعب الفلسطيني بأن سمحت وسهلت أجانب من الصهاينة بدخول فلسطين ولن أقول اليهود الصهاينة وليس اليهود بدخول فلسطين خلافا لمطالب أغلبية السكان وسنت قوانين في الفترة بين 1920 و1925 بما في ذلك الفترة التي لم تكن تملك فيها الصلاحية القانونية بموجب الانتداب لذلك ولهذا فإننا ندعو الحكومة البريطانية إلى أولا تقديم الاعتذار للشعب الفلسطيني عن قرن من الموت والدمار والشتات لم ينتهي بعد بسبب إخلالها بواجباتها بالالتزام بما دفع الشعب الفلسطيني من دمائه والإضرار المباشر وغير المباشر الناتج عن ذلك الاحتلال وذلك الوعد المشؤوم ولذلك نقول لحكومة بريطانيا ولتصحيح سياستها الداخلية والخارجية لكي تتحقق الحقوق الشرعية الفلسطينية غير القابلة للتصرف بناء فلسطين الجديدة وعودة شعبها إلى أرضها التي اقتلع منها وثالثاً 
التدريس التاريخي الفلسطيني الصحيح ودور بريطانيا فيه في المقررات التعليمية والإعلام اتباع أي طرق أخرى لبناء فلسطين الحرة من أجل هذا كله ندعو حكومة المملكة المتحدة إلى تصحيح خطيئتها التاريخية بالفعل والقانون وندعو شعوب العالم بما فيه الشعب البريطاني إلى مؤازرتنا من أجل تحقيق هذه الغاية شكرا
and the repatriation of its people by reflecting the Palestinian history and suffering of the people in school curriculum and in the media and by any other means found necessary to achieve the aim of free and independent Palestine. On all the above, we pledge our unfettered support, call on the United Kingdom to rectify its grave historical deeds, and we call on all people of conscience in the world to stand by the terms of this manifesto. Thank you very much. Thank you.